Hello everyone and thanks for watching today. Um, we are going to prep a um, a photo that I have that I'm going to make for a engravable picture frame which I can actually show you. I think I have one in here. Yep, um, the photo that we're going to or that the photo, we're going to engrave a different photo, but it's going to, our project is going to look like this. So super cute. It engraves the photo with all of this fine detail, which is amazing. So we are going to do that today. Um, go ahead and go to pixlr.com. And by the way, the process I'm about to show you is completely 100% free. Um, go ahead and click the Pixlr E, which is the editing version. And you should have a picture that you want to use saved on your computer. Um, and go ahead and drag it over. It's best to use a high quality picture. However, this is a cell phone picture and I have used cell phone pictures in the past and it still does turn out okay. It, it actually turns out really well. Um, go ahead and go to adjustment and we're first going to make this a black and white photo. After that, we are going to change the levels and you just want to kind of play with this a little bit. Um, make sure you make the blacks black and the white's white. I know that's kind of strange, but you almost want to make the contrast a little excessive. So go ahead and play with those levels. And once you have it where you want it, click apply and go ahead and add a vignette if you want. In this case, I'm going to just because I want the background to be a little, you know, blended and a little more white. So go ahead and click apply. And we are going to save this as a JPEG, high quality. So go ahead and save that. And then we are going to go to image R. And Go choose the file that you just saved and drag it on over. And this should upload down here. Um, we are going to change the material to wood. Click OK. And this is how it's going to look once it's engraved. We're going to go ahead and Play with the gamma a little bit. In a lot of cases, it's best at 0 0.8, but you can see, you know, the more you play with it, it's it's going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to be darker if you move it to the left and lighter as you move it to the right. So wherever you think is best, or whatever works best for you, is where you should have it. I'm struggling with this one a little bit. I think it looks good right there, honestly, at the 0 0.8, which is where I normally have it. Go ahead and click download, save it. Okay, yep, I guess that worked. Um, and then go ahead and upload to whatever program you use to save as SVGs. In my case, I do use Silhouette Studio, and then I transfer it to my Blowforge. Um, so once you save it into Silhouette Studio, you're just going to save it as a SVG file and you can upload it to Glowforge to be burned. And if you are looking for a video on how to burn it from your Glowforge onto a piece of wood, follow me for the next video and I can show you how. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.